Hello everyone, welcome to this MCQ practice session and today's topic is all about cell biology. If you are preparing for IIT JAM, CSI NET, CAT B, GATE, etc., these kind of practice sessions would be very useful for you. So stay tuned till the end of this video. There would be 10 questions and it would only take barely 20 minutes, but it would give you enough benefit and clarity to the question answer that you can cherish it later. But let me tell you something very important first. So right now, it's time of COVID, right? The pandemic era. And you're literally locked in your home. You cannot go out, go to a coaching or tuition center to boost your preparation. So your only option left is study from home. And in that matter, an academy's educator can really help you. And an academy's educators are really at your fingertip. They're there for you always in a virtual fashion. So by sitting at your home in a safe situation, you can get mentorship. So just to be more specific, if you want to uh, get uh, guidance for IIT Jam 2022, Achiever Batch for that is starting from 21st April. So hurry up. But COVID has hit our economy so hard that it's difficult for any institution or company to provide their material at very low cost. So there is a possible price hike within a span of five days. But the price is extremely low right now. So if you are willing to join, join right now and beat the price hike. Okay, in order to do that, download the app, use my code AP10 to get a 10% discount and then you can get the benefit of online lectures, quizzes, examinations and doubt clearing sessions. It has it all together. Okay, so hurry up and enroll now. Now, let's start with our question answer discussion. So, first question says, read the statements carefully and choose the correct ones. Okay, there are two statements given. X, G protein coupled receptor signaling is the mechanism for several physiological processes such as vision, olfaction, gustation, etc. Statement number Y says that uh, calcium is the only calcium is only detected by kinases like CAMK2 but not by phosphatases and statement number Z says cyclic GMP elevation leads to cellular changes via protein kinase G and the option says X, Z are correct but Y is incorrect only Z is correct X and Y are correct but Z is incorrect and lastly only Y is correct so pause this video for a moment, read these three statements carefully and try to answer. If you have answered properly, the correct answer is option A. That means first statement is correct. Indeed, I have explained in many of my videos that how vision, olfaction and gustation are controlled by GPCR signaling. So if you haven't yet watched that or missed that, you can click on the link in the i button and you would get to the video. Okay, calcium is detected by phosphatases and kinases both. For example, CAMK is one of the greatest example of a kinase that is activated by calcium activity. But calcineurin, which is a phosphatase, is also activated by calcium level changes, right? So it is both which is activated by calcium. So calcium signals can be read by both calmodulin or calmodulin kinase and also calcineurin. So this particular statement is a false statement, okay? Statement Z is correct because cyclic GMP elevation leads to protein kinase G activation, which you would get in a cyclic GMP and NO signaling. So you can instantly click on the I button to get a detailed explanation regarding this. Okay, moving on to the next question. Which of the following is a false statement? In G1 phase, cells experience external growth factor mediated signaling which leads to transcription of cycling D1 gene. Option B, in S phase, DNA replication takes place. C, centrioles duplicate at G2. D, is in metaphase, the chromosomes are arranged in a metaphase plate, right? So, which of these events are actually not true that we have to understand? So, here the correct answer is this one. 
potentials does not duplicate around G2, right? So it duplicates in which phase? If you know that, then let me know in the comment. Okay, let me tell you why we have chosen these questions. Because look at this particular question from IIT JAM BT 2017. They say during prokaryotic cell division, during eukaryotic cell division, the amount of DNA doubles in. Okay, this is fairly simple. It is S phase, which is in between G1 and G2. So the C is correct option. But the goal of this question is to show you that they ask question from the events that happens in the cell cycle. Uh, in the cell cycle. So that is an important factor that you should consider. Okay, getting back to another question. So based on that particular question in mind, this is a sample question. Which of the following description of mitosis is or are correct? So there are three statements. DNA synthesis occur at the beginning of the prophase. Two, nuclear envelope breaks down in prophase and reforms in telophase. And the third statement, the division of centrosome, the division of centromeres occurs at anaphase. So we have to understand which is correct. Now, if you have really looked at this question and understood this question properly, then try to answer in the comment section. I'm not going to go answer this here, but maybe in the next video. Okay. Question four says, cancer can be caused by gain of function mutation in proto-oncogene, loss of function mutation in tumor suppression gene, viral genes, and all of the above. Pause this video, try to answer. Now, if you have answered correctly, the answer is D because viral genes can also work like oncogenes, right? And I have a video on that. So click on the I button to watch that video. Okay, nuclear membrane breakdown takes place at which phases of the cell cycle? This particular question or mode of question has been asked in several video, uh, several um, examinations. So this is super important. And the answer is prophase. Because in the prophase, what happens is the maturation promoting factor phosphorylates the laminins. So laminins, sorry, lamins. The lamins are intermediate filaments which work like a framework. So on top of uh, the lamin framework, our nuclear envelope resides. So when the lamin framework is broken down and dissociated, the nuclear envelope breaks down. That's the answer. And this is the important aspect in many, many, many uh, examinations. Okay, now getting back to some exam cor corner quickly. So in ITJAM 2020 and 2019, one similar type of question is asked that the sequence of phases in the cell cycle, right? So you have to identify the correct sequence of the cell cycle phase, right? So this is important. So for example, here you know that prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase would be the correct sequence. Whereas in this particular question in 2019, you have to identify which is the correct statement. For example, here it would be correct, right? G1 goes to S, S goes to G2 and then M. So these kind of sequence related questions, uh, especially focused from cell uh, division is very important. Okay. If there are 40 units of DNA in the cell during a G2 phase, how much amount of DNA are there in G1 phase and S phase, right? So you know TNA duplication takes place in the S phase, right? So how much it would be in the S phase? So obviously S phase DNA has duplicated. So 2x amount of uh, genetic content would be there. So S phase it would be 40, right? But in the G1 phase it's still 20. So 20 replicated into 20 and 20 that means 40. So C is the correct option, right? Yeah. Question 7 says, Cells in culture will absorb amino acids from the surrounding culture medium. If radioactively labeled glycine is provided in the culture medium, in which organelle will you see the radioactivity first? So this is a protein trafficking question. So obviously when you put amino acids, it would be incorporated in those proteins which are yet to be built or which are translating, right? Where translation is happening. So first, Translation is happening in the endoplasmic reticulum on the ribosomes, right? So first of all, you would see this in the endoplasmic reticulum and then according to the cell's 
a secretory pathway, you might see them in the Golgi body from where it would be sorted into different locations of the cell or might be secreted out of the cell. So option D is correct. Okay, question number eight. It says cyclin dependent kinase phosphorylase phosphorylates dash residue in the target protein. So we know cyclin and CDK, they are partners. So they are kinases. They have phosphorylating activities. But which residue do they phosphorylate? What type of kinase they are? That's the question is which is asked here. And they are sterintrionine kinases. Remember in MAP kinase signaling pathway, we have talked about tyrosine kinases, right? So this is really important. So it's a serintrionine kinase. Question number nine says, which of the following statement is false regarding actin microfilament? Okay, actin participate in many important cellular processes, including muscle contraction, cell motility, cell division, vesicle and organal movement, cell signaling, etc. Actin microfilament play a major role in chromosome segregation during anaphase. Actin microfilament are involved in muscle contraction. Actin microfilaments and myosin interact interaction is crucial for cytokinesis. So here, the correct option would be Option B, because actin microfilament does not play a vital role during anaphase. So segregation of the chromosome depends on the dynamic instability of microtubules, not the microfilaments, not actin, microtubule filaments, right? So this is wrong. I mean, that is what we, we want to answer, right? Yeah. So last question of the day, which of the following statement is false regarding intermediate filaments? Intermediate filaments are rather... Uh, deformable proteins that can be stretched several times uh, with their initial length. Intermediate filaments are also found inside the nucleus. Intermediate, uh, sorry, neurofilaments are one type of intermediate filaments found in new neurons. Intermediate filaments do not provide any mechanical strength. So, if you have guessed it correctly, the last option is correct. Like the last option is the one you have to choose. Because intermediate filaments provide mechanical strength, and especially in our skin. Let's say if you don't have intermediate filaments, you do some pull-ups and your skin would be deformed. So it's like it, it's giving the elasticity to your screen. And if you want to learn more about this, you can watch the video on intermediate filament in the I button. So everything is in the I button. Click on that. You would get all the relevant information regarding this particular question. So with that, I'll say goodbye to you guys. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.